So we're excited to offer the Texas Tulip, Tulipa Praycox. It's been a long time. Same tulip that uh, my mentor and friend, Dr. Welch, calls the Georgetown Tulip. I, I wanted to take a brief moment and just talk about the tulip, though. It is extremely particular in the soils that it likes to be in. So we find this in the prairie blackland clay soils that are really kind of mucky right now and wet because it's springtime, uh, but they're going to get bone dry in the summertime, uh, almost to the point where there's long cracks in the soil and they're deep, you know, three or four inch long cracks deep. And that's, that tulip really likes to be enclosed in that clay soil. Because of that, they're also very difficult to collect. They're very difficult for us to grow on the farm where we have sandy loam soil where those pocket gophers and those voles will really uh, eat our bulbs. I've lost about 5,000 of these in rows. So they are a little bit expensive um, and they're more for a collector or somebody who has these uh, particular situations in their soils where they can grow these. But I will say from Tyler to Dallas all the way down to Austin, this is a tulip that will naturalize, it will clump up, and it can be extremely spectacular. And I'm gonna overlay some images while I'm talking, but I'm also gonna show you how you would expect to get your bulbs. We're selling them in, in two bulbs per pack, and I'll pull them out of the, the, here real quick. Let the foliage die down naturally, or some, some of them have already had foliage that died down. And here's a, a look at the kind of the furry encapsulation of the tulip bulbs. So I just want you to know what you're getting. It is okay if that, that breaks off. And they're stoloniferous. In other words, they're gonna—they're not gonna clump up. They're gonna grow about this far apart from each other. Send out a rhizome, grow more, grow more, grow more. Uh, but they can also get pretty deep. So you can see about how deep they've—they've they've gotten in their own clay soils. So they're—they're—they're they're, they're very particular. They're very special. They're very beautiful. A red tulip that naturalizes in warm climates scratched a childhood itch that I had of finding a perennial red tulip bulb that would come back year after year. And and that actually is one of the main themes of my book, The Bulb Hunter, if not the plot of starting the Southern Bulb Company. So I'm very excited to offer it to you, but I almost want to do a pirate skull and crossbones warning label that um, it's, these aren't for the faint of heart. So if you buy them, I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, you may call us or email us at info at southernbulbs.com or call us at 888-BULB-HUNT. Hope that helps. Hope you enjoy.